There are three types of people that we have on earth. And these categories are in the Bible. And the Bible presents them to us. So I want to give you the three categories as explained in the Bible. And as revealed to me by God. Category number one is people we call people of God. This include all the people that God created. But more particularly, the Jews that God appointed to be called his people. When you study in John chapter 1 and verse 11 and 12, the Bible says he came to his people. Like the tribesmen of Jesus. The people who God calls his people. Praise God. Those that he came for. You know, the, Jesus said that I was sent to the lost house of Israel. So Israel was God's people. In that sense. And the apostle Paul says, I was sent to God's people. But now because they have rejected the gospel, I will take it to the rest people of the world. So people of God, these are all the human beings on earth. That is category number one. The Bible says he came to his own people. And his own people rejected him. Category number two. Have you understood God's people? Everyone you see around belongs to God. Everyone. Regardless of their religion. Regardless of their country. Regardless of their race. Regardless of their physical appearance or their tribe, or their nationality, they are God's people. Praise be to God. That's category number one. And the category number two are people we call the children of God. Category number two are people we call the children of God. These are people that have been called out of God's people. Category number one is God is people. But we have category number two, God is children. These are those that have been called out from among them by the word of the gospel and they have accepted the gospel. And the Bible calls them a royal priesthood, a peculiar people, a nation of kings. The Bible also calls them the light of the world. And at some point it calls them the salt of the world. These are people that have accepted Jesus. They have embraced what we call, they have accepted the experience of the marvelous light of God. And how did they become God's children? They accepted Jesus and God gave them the power to become. Say become. Say it again, become. He gave them the power to become. So that means you can be in a family where all of you are God's people, but one of you accepts Jesus, then you become a child of God. Since he came to his own people, his own people rejected him. But some, however, accepted him. And those that accepted him, he gave them power to become children. Hallelujah. So when any person accepts Jesus, he is given power to become a child. Say power to become a child. Say it again, power to become a child. Is in my acceptance of Jesus. Say when I accept Jesus, I stop being an ordinary God's person and I become Say, I become, I, become, I, become, I, become a a child of God. a child of God. Now, what is the major difference between God's people and God's children? Is that God's people remain God's people. But God's children are now born in the family and they can become heirs of, in, of salvation. They can inherit anything of salvation. So salvation, when accepted, converts an individual from being an ordinary person of God into becoming a child of God. Praise be to Jesus. Now, category number three. 
Category number three are people we call the children of the devil. A person does not become automatically a child of the devil simply because he has not accepted Jesus. But simply because he is doing the things of the devil. Just like you don't become automatically a child of God, you must accept Jesus equally with the devil. Equally with the devil. You must, hello, accept to do the things of the devil. You listen, if you can read John chapter 8 and verse John chapter 8 and verse 44, the Bible says this. Jesus said to them, If God were your father, you could love him. For I came from God, and now I am here. I have not come on my own, but he sent me. Verse 43. Why is my language not clear to you? Because you are unable to hear what I say. Number 44, are you there? You belong to your father, the devil. And you want to carry out your father's desire. He was a murderer from the beginning and not holding to the truth. For there is no truth in him. When he lies, he speaks his native language. For he is a liar and the father of lies. Now, when you read Romans chapter 1 and verse 24 up to 26... Romans chapter 1 and verse 24 up to 26. Therefore God gave them offer in the sinful desires of their hearts to sexual impunity for the degrading of their bodies with one another. They exchanged the truth of God for a lie and worshipped and served created things rather than the creator who is forever praised. Amen. Because of this God gave them over to shameful lusts. Even their women exchanged the natural relations for the unnatural ones. In the same way men abandoned the natural. You know, like the Bible is saying, this category, because of what they are doing, God has not permitted them to become his children. They have not received admission into the common world of God. God has given them over to the devil. Meaning because of what they engage in, they have automatically become the children of the devil. So, so listen to me. Many of the problems that we face do not come from the children of God and do not even come from the people of God. But the problems we face come from the children of the devil. Those that have embraced the devil as their master and their father and they are willing to do whatever he wants them to do that is the devil now what is our assignment as children of god is to resist and also keep our distance when you are sent to the world go for those who are god's people but have not embraced christ don't even go to people that embrace christ I rejected him to impress certain things. They exchanged a father. They said Jesus is no longer our father. We are willing to embrace a new father. But there are many people that have never had a father. They are neither of the devil. They are nor of God. So you can have them for Jesus. 